keep y'all away, man. You know it's the gathering. You know what we do, man. I was up, fucking around. And look, and look, what really happened, I didn't even know where this motherfucker was at. I didn't get a chance to go around the whole gathering and fucking find out all the secret spots and hideouts and tents and all that kind of shit. Because when I got here, we was tired than a motherfucker. We went to sleep. When I woke up, we got on stage. Then we hung out, got drunk in the motherfucker, hide in the motherfucker, and then we went to a saggy tooth dope set. And everybody turned that motherfucker up so loud, man. We was up to about six in the morning. Oh, oh shit. Good looking, family. Boom, boom. Yeah, I'm glad to Hold this, cuz. So we got turned up to about fucking, you know, six or so in the morning. Got some motherfucking rents. You know how that first night beat? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm sure y'all probably been here for a long time. How long y'all been here? Y'all just get here? Damn! That's a motherfucking gathering family, goddammit. I've been here. I was here waiting on ya. But you know, it is what it is. Just wanted to give y'all a little, little, little some, summation of what's been going on in my gathering so far. Now y'all know who the fuck I am and y'all know what the fuck I do. Family, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for coming out to the seminar today. You know what I'm saying? I really just came to uh, give y'all some information about what's going on in Hoodoo's world and what's coming up in Hoodoo's world, you know what I'm saying? I know it's hot, you know, I know y'all chilling, having a good time. I ain't gonna keep y'all here all for the, for the whole hour. We gonna kick it, we'll get to some questions, we gonna smoke, and then we gonna rock out like that. That's cool? Woo -hoo. That's what's up. <coughs> now, first, because oh, you wanna come grab this mic? You don't wanna grab this mic? Tristan, you wanna grab this mic? Either one of y'all, that's cool. So first. Where's your plate? How many of y'all uh, saw the Hoodoo show yesterday? Woo -woo. Oh shit! The fuck, I'm talking, man, I love y'all, man. Y'all are so fucking special. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. Hey, how, how many of y'all enjoyed the new Hoodoo set yesterday? Yeah. Alright, so with that being said, I want to introduce y'all to my motherfucking guitarist, big motherfucking homie in action, Tristan. Woo -woo. So I met, I met, I met, yeah, give it to him! Show him that family love, get a picture with him, find out how he's doing, you know what I'm saying? Show him what we do, make him feel at home, you feel me? Yeah. I appreciate y'all. Now, I met this youngster, you know what I'm saying, doing his thing. Uh, he just he just really impressed me, man. His personality, his charisma, he's self-taught on the guitar. Uh, y'all y'all say y'all was there, all y'all heard him doing, he taught himself how to do that shit. I thought that was over-the-top impressive. Um, it, he, he shines, man. You know, like, the, everyone knows that's been to the gathering, continually comes to the gathering, the type of magic and the aura that this brings and the whole dark carnival brings to all of us. It's, that's, that's why we're all family. For, for, it was a strange thing when I met this dude. I felt the, the aura off of him. He had never been to the gathering. He never experienced nothing like this. Never rocked the stage or nothing before. But when I felt him playing and heard him playing, I felt the magic instantly, you know what I'm saying? And so, as many of you know, that's kind of how a dark carnival works. You feel it automatically. It's just no question in your heart. You know it in your soul, you know what I'm saying? So when I heard him, that's how it came across. And it was very interesting to me upon first meeting this guy and us first getting together and practicing and seeing if we can iron this new set out. It was just amazing. So from that day to yesterday, today, that's what brought this dude here. Ever since he's been around me, ever since we've been, uh, we rock, what we do, one show in Indiana? Yeah. Yeah. We did one show in Indiana, we rocked the shit out of that show, it was a real dope spot. And uh, ever since we've been practicing, everything's just been clicking, clicking, moving forward, getting stronger and better, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it, uh, we've been practicing for some months, <laughs> and which came out to what you guys saw yesterday. I'm really proud of it. Um, I, I, um, I, you know, I come to do what I come to do for y'all, man. I don't play no games, I don't bullshit. When we hit that stage, I want to give y'all the full throttle effect of the music that has been made from my heart to y'all. So that was a big, intricate part helping me push that forward, you know what I'm saying? And I just want y'all to make sure y'all welcome up to the family, man. Anytime y'all see him, walk up on him and let him know what it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anything you want to say about your experience so far together? Man. 
<laughs> Go ahead, let him know. Definitely, you know, this is like my first festival, you know, first gathering. You know, this is definitely the the festival for me, you know, coming out here and shit like that. So, you know, to be able to play on stage, have all y'all come out and show love, that's just it's, it's an amazing feeling and I'm glad that y'all could come and see that, you know. So much respect to all y'all for that. Um yeah. As you can see, he's very green, very shy, he's new to all of this, you know what I'm saying? And I love that. I love the fucking, the rawness and the realness of this kid, you know what I'm saying? And being able to, uh, you know, be on this stage, on that stage, and being able to do what I do for and in front of all of y'all all over the world and here, you know what I'm saying? And being able to reach out to someone like this and give him the opportunity to experience something like this like I did years ago, and it to open my eyes to all of this, and it to put me in the, at the core and the heart of all of this, is very special to me, and I'm proud to be able to do it. For him, and for my cousin. It's my cousin over here, did y'all see him yesterday too? All right, so let's get to this guy. This guy over here, man, I, I don't know what to tell y'all. We've been making music since we was kids. Um, he's from far away, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I just really respect and admire his talent. He can sing, he can rap, you know what I'm saying? He can fucking, what else can you do? All kind of shit. He dance a little bit too, you dance and shit. But nah, he's, he's got, he's got, oh yeah, the reggae, yeah, of course that, you know what I'm saying? But the, the, the talent on him from when we were younger is just amazing to me, you know what I'm saying? I like to keep myself surrounded by talented individuals because I feel like if someone is as good as you or better, and you're practicing with them, it raises your level faster than you could on your own, you know what I'm saying? It's like you feed off each other, help each other, and you raise each other up. And that's what him and I have been doing. Not, not only are we family, you know, but I, I, I really I really love this dude outside of that because he is such a good person and so talented. So when he's around me, I have to be better and do better. Y'all don't know if you guys heard the new tracks that we got together, but he was ruthless. He's singing, he doing reggae, he rapping, he doing all this cold shit. I'm just on there at the end, rapping my words. I'm like, okay, I gotta say some ruthless shit to keep up with this dude. That's like being in the studio with Dre. This guy's producing, he's rapping, doing all this cold shit. You just in there, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But with that level of fucking, you know, to me, genius and endurance that he puts into his fucking music, man, it just raises me up, helps me do better. We've uh, collaborated on some things. He, like I said yesterday, I don't know if y'all heard, but he is on one of my favorite songs on Asylum, The Passage, you know what I'm saying? And and if, if you all have heard it, y'all know what he brought to the table. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's him doing the hook, that's him doing the bridge, that's him doing two verses, keeping up with me. You see what I'm saying? He came to my shit and rocked my shit damn near harder than I rock my shit, you feel me? Cause I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna spit, I'm gonna do this, all that kind of shit. And, and the feel that he brought to the song was incredible. Incredible. That song would not have been what it was without my cousin. So without further ado, oh, did y'all see him on Shaggy 2 though? Yeah. yeah, he got that song on that new Shaggy 2 though album. That shit is ruthless as fuck. And you know, being in the studio watching them two get together, man, that shit was that shit was a blessing. Like I said, to be able to bring these things to the table, you know what I'm saying? And with the people that I'm around, it's just me giving back to everyone. You know what I'm saying? These are the these are the things that I feel are great, and I hope that you guys will appreciate them as well. So y'all know what I do, man. Um, you know. So now, uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all have been asking for a long time what was going on with the music I was supposed to put out that I said I was going to put out uh, every month uh, uh, in 2017. What ended up happening was we started a lot of projects. We started a lot of different things, and once I started making the music that I was making, it was a little more incredible to me than just a monthly track. So I didn't, I kind of didn't want to put it out in that fashion. The music that I have so far, to me, is really incredible. Something new, something fresh. I've added new elements to my stage performance. I've added new elements to my music. Um, so I want to put it out in a different fashion, and that's what I chose to do. You know, I know a lot of people were asking me, like, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? And I, I didn't really respond. I just let this shit go on, you know what I'm saying? But I figured I'd come to the seminar and give out a little piece of that. So the music will be coming. I'm not sure when. I'm working. Just just know that, period. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we, we, we started out 
doing a lot of things at the, at the psychopathic motherfucking laboratories this year. And they're all incredible. And it's like, we just had to stay on a certain path and do certain things and, and plan ahead instead of just jumping into shit. We've been planning. That's why all the things that you see that have been executed the way they are have been executed the way they are. Because we're all sitting down, we're all together, we're all making the moves, you know, to move forward. 17 is a big year for us. It has been. We've been doing a ton of things and we got a ton of things in store. 18 is going to be even more incredible. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I, I, I know how much love y'all got for the family and I know all the type of crazy things that's going on, but please believe the things that we're doing right now will set us on a path to the future forever. So I hope y'all ride with us, you know, from here until the, the wheels fall off, if they ever do, which they probably never will. But, you know, I feel like psychopathic for life, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure about y'all. <laughs> so I'm proud, I'm, I'm, I'm humble, I'm happy, and I'm, I'm respectful to all the incredible things that I'm allowed to, to, to do and show y'all and the things we're bringing to the table for the future, man. It's incredible and I hope y'all enjoy the ride as much as we enjoy driving, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but yeah, Cousin, he's ruthless. He's got new music coming out. I'm on his shit. Look for that. Uh, I'll give y'all more info about it, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's just work, man. It's work. Being around people with the same work ethic, the same uh, forward projection, the same ambition, the same, you know, the, the, the drive that they have, it pushes and motivates me. So, you know, we building the team right now. Well, I am rather, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just want to bring it to y'all as raw and as special as I can every time y'all see me. Y'all know that's what I'm about, you know what I'm saying? So, it's coming, that's the best I can say. Um, what else we got? We working on some new shit. Me and this guy right here, of course. You know what I'm saying? And that's gonna be, that's gonna be crazy. So everything is, is 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 positive and bright for me, man. I, I just I'm just living inside of it, looking out right now, and it's it's, it's so incredible. It, I, you know, it's kind of hard to explain at times. It's the it's the surrealness of it all. You know what I mean? Like just sitting back and seeing it from the inside, looking out, it's so fucking surreal and so crazy, and it just humbles the shit out of me, man. I be so filled with emotion to see all of y'all here, to see all y'all out there, to see everybody at the gathering every year, all around the world when we go to concerts. It's just so much love, so much incredible passion, so much real OG representation, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere we go, everybody's rocking the hatchet, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's got some kind of fucking dope ass shit on and we just, we're infecting the whole population of the world and they're all looking at us right now. Do y'all know it's uh, uh, undercover fans out there? Did y'all hear about that? They wanna come see us. They wanna come know what we about. They wanna see how we doing and what we doing so they can learn more about us and try to manipulate, you know what I'm saying? How the police been treating y'all this year? Police is shitty here, huh? I mean, overall, that's a general consensus, but I mean, have they been cool or they been fucking with y'all? They been fucking with y'all? Okay, okay. What y'all think about this spot? How y'all how are y'all feeling the spot overall despite the police? Too big, too hot. <laughs> that's what up, that's what up, that's what up. Hey, let me know. I need to know. So so no to here next year, huh? Fuck no. To the office and make sure y'all opinions get heard. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not out here in where they can fuck with me. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Like I go to the hotel, I come back, I hang out a little bit, we do our shit. You know what I'm saying? But they don't. They don't get a chance to bother us. It's like with y'all. Y'all are out there with them. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm asking the shit. I've heard a whole lot of shit. I've heard a lot of good shit and I've heard a lot of bad shit. So I was really wondering what was what. You know what I'm saying? So you know. No titties? Yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? No titties. They shut the shit down. They yeah. shut parties down. I mean, so you gotta understand, this is a brand new place. And also, I, they, what they, isn't this the, the Bible Belt? Is that what they call this? I believe so. This is, <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I'm not sure, but I'm from Detroit, so you know, we do shit. Now, they, whoop, whoop. But anyway, we're in, a, we're in a different spot. They have different rules and they look at shit differently, you know what I'm saying? So they wanna keep it the way they wanna keep it. I mean, Ultimately, you know, rules do apply in places. <laughs> I understand that we are juggalos, we don't give a fuck, we break rules, that's our goddamn moniker, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is, man. I, I, I assume it's for 
the onlookers and the safety of probably the new people that are coming here. That's what I heard, you know what I'm saying? Like they have families and children that don't know anything about this, they just want to come and enjoy the festival. So that's what I heard. It is what it is. Y'all feel how y'all feel. Everyone's entitled to their opinion because we juggalos. We can scream it out any motherfucker where we go and it better be heard. We gonna be heard, period. You feel me? We all know what it is. So, you know, try to, try to, uh, I guess, you know, just be safe as y'all can, man. I, I'm, I'm sorry for the police fucking with y'all. I mean, even though I ain't had shit to do with it, but I mean, you know, it is, it is, it is what it is, man. But just, hey, do, do me a favor. Don't none of y'all get no trouble, man. I don't want none of my juggalos getting arrested, getting fucked with over no bullshit. I would hate that shit, you feel me? Because uh, police do fuck with you for nothing just because of who you are, what you wear, how you look. That's what they do all over the country. I know y'all been watching it, seeing it. I'll post most of it, you feel me? Because I'm a, I'm a Boom Boom Piggy advocator. <laughs> I'm Mr. Boom Boom Piggy, nigga, so they really hate me, you feel me? It is what it is. But past all of that, fam, I'm incredibly excited to see all of y'all again. I miss y'all. It's been a year <laughs> since I've seen some of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just want to thank a lot of you all from wherever you all are from. If we have come to your city and tore that bitch down and y'all came out and showed me some personal love or some fucking 100% of personal appreciation when I come out to your city, I want to thank y'all if I didn't get the chance to before because I've been going around, we've been doing shit, man, and people have been making it, Juggalos have been making it their business to come up to me, hug me and tell me how proud they are of me and how thankful they are of me pushing the culture forward and doing what I'm doing. And it's, and when you go, when you go, yeah, for real, when you go to a bunch of different places and you hear the same thing from people, it's not no bullshit. It ain't no fake ass, you know, just to come holla at you shit. It's real passionate shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I do it for, man. I, I, I do all of this for y'all. This shit is not for us. This shit is not for ICP. This shit is for y'all. We do this shit for y'all. Y'all y'all matter. Y'all opinions matter. Y'all, we, we care about y'all. You know what I mean? That's why every time a juggalo falls, we be the first one to be like, hey, rest in peace. We do shows for him. We do this and that for him. Whenever one of us is hurt, we come out. We look. We, we, help, we come to hospitals. We show love to y'all because that's what we're about. That's what family does. And if you don't do that, and if you don't look at it like that, you don't have to be a part of it. Y'all get the fuck on. We care about each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We give a fuck about one another, right? Motherfucking right. So, um, I didn't come with anything prepared today, as I usually don't. I just come and I, I wing it. So, you know, uh, I, I'm gonna answer a few questions. Before I leave, we can take a few pictures. Um, but what I, what I want y'all to do, man, and this is the only, you know, I have one special request from y'all, you know, every every seminar that I have. And it's kind of been the same in every seminar. It's gonna kind of be the same now. But one request that I have for y'all is, um, you know, I'm big hoodoo, psychopathic records for anybody standing on the outside that doesn't know. Um, I need y'all to help me to push this culture forward. I don't care if y'all tell anybody about my music, ICP music, Twisted music, motherfucking boondocks music, motherfucking light music, any of that shit. Tell them about the culture. Tell them about the movement. Tell them about what we are to each other. That's what will pull people in. Everybody. What? 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 This is what we are to each other, fam. Let somebody know about us. Any part of this that you love to your heart, any one of us that you know you feel real passionate about, music-wise, artist-wise, personality-wise, you know, push it, man. Push the envelope. Start telling people about us. You know what I'm saying? Start telling people about your favorite artists. You know, bring more people in. Let them hear the music. Let them see the festivities. You know what I'm saying? Tell them how much fun you had here. Tell them how much fun you always have here, so they can come out next year and enjoy this shit with us. You feel me? Motherfucking further ado, uh, y'all heard the new music. Fuck, what else do we got? We got anything else, Tristan? We got anything else? No? Alright, well, let's smoke some weed. How about that? Somebody gave me a joint. I'm gonna fire that joint up and I'll answer some questions. We'll do about maybe 10 15 minutes worth of questions and shit. Is that cool with y'all? 
All right, anybody got any questions, y'all can just come right up here so I can hear y'all. That would be dope, you know what I'm saying? What's this? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, hold this. Oh, hold this, cuz. set last night? Was there any particular Correct. reason? Uh, well, you know, I feel like the place where we are probably wasn't the best place to perform Boom Boom Pigs. Right. Okay. So, what, what it is, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, they know. But, see, what it is with, with Boom Boom Piggy, it's such a volatile song. So, I noticed that when I was performing it, it in certain buttons. places, yeah, when, I, when I was performing it in certain places, there were, you know, onlookers that were just it was it was negative. It was real. It was, it was taken in real negative. And if you don't understand the song, you will look at it that way. You'll be like, oh fuck, he's just talking about this, that, and the other. I actually had police hit me up, like you know, juggalo. Like I'm a juggalo. I better not see you. Da da da. This and that. I'm like, look, fam. I'll come to you right now. <laughs> and we can talk. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with that. But what people fail to realize is that my uncle is a fucking retired police officer. My grandfather is a sheriff in Michigan, retired. He passed away now, but when I grew up, police are all in my family. So for me to write this song, I had to, you know, jump over some motherfucking hoops with people that I really know, actually love, you know what I'm saying? So this is not some shit that's directed at people like that. This is shit that's directed at people that are fucking us over. Killing, killing us, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers that are killing us, and before you even get out of your car, they kill you. Nine shots, ten shots to your body. Unarmed. That is insane, family. And, you know, I, 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 if I'm not me, and I don't do what I do if I don't represent my issues, and I stand on what the fuck I stand on everything. Ooh, ooh, I, I, just mean, ooh, ooh. I wouldn't be shit if I wasn't doing that. I wouldn't be shit if I wasn't doing that for y'all. Motherfucker come tell you a bunch of shit. You come buy their t-shirts and buy their jerseys, and Come to their shows and support them, nigga, and they don't rap you and support you? Fuck them! Fuck them! Period! I don't give a fuck who they are, nigga! I say the same thing to Tupac. 
I say the same thing to Dr. Dre, Buster Rhymes, Eminem, any of them motherfuckers, nigga. If they don't got love for the fans, they got love for them to come out and rep they shit and rock they shit, buy they shit and support they family and all that shit, fuck them, family. I don't give a fuck who you are, guy. You ain't too big to be like, yo, I appreciate you, fam. I appreciate you, fam. Thank you for fucking coming. You feel me? Nobody is too big for that. Nobody. If they don't give a fuck about our lives, why should we give a fuck about theirs? So, I got you. So, when I go to places, I select where I do go, go, pick, long story short. I didn't think this was the right place for that. I didn't want any... Cops to be looking at y'all like, boom, boom, piggy, huh? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't want any of that for y'all here, because that's what it would have been. So I chose not to do it. All right? Good question. Thanks, man. Yeah. My question is, is I know people are hating on the gathering being in Oklahoma. We can't do certain shit. I ain't been to a gathering yet. Been listening for 19 years. I live an hour and a half from this motherfucker. We got to live here. Right. Y'all get to go home. Right. The <laughs> fucking gathering yeah. is here. It yeah. Is. That's. So, woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Woo. Well, his, his question of a statement was, <laughs> <laughs> was that the gathering is are here. Are you coming man. back? Just be happy that we gather. Is it true? It almost didn't even motherfucking happen. Is it true? Know that? There's a five-year contract. Is it true what? There's a five-year contract. Oh, I have true? no idea about that, but I don't think we do things like that. Right. So I, I'm not sure. But you, you never know. You never know. The way that things are going for us now, the way they want to shut this whole world, culture, and lifestyle that we live down, you never know how people may be. In order for us to, what, what, what he said was, is it true that there's a five-year contract with this place? And I'm not sure, I haven't heard anything like that. I'm denying or confirming. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't, I don't deal with all these issues like that. Uh, but, you know, in order for us to go wherever we go, they may say something like, well, you got to promise us you're going to come here for three years for us to put up with it. And in order, and it's it's such a small fucking window of people that we can approach to have the gathering at. There may be something like that that has to happen in the future. I don't know that you know what I'm saying, but I can understand that. You know what I mean? Like people want their back in. You know, it's all business. You know what I'm saying when it comes to rent grounds. You know and liabilities and all that kind of shit. Yeah. So you know, I didn't hear anything about that, so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But there you go. Another question right here. When is my birthday? February 21st, Juggalo Day. Oh. Oh. I didn't know, y'all didn't know that, did y'all? Yeah, Juggalo Day. I'm the original Juggalo, nigga. Yeah, yeah. That's right, That's right nigga. Real still. Thank you, love. So, so, hit this, hit this. You want to hit this? Yes, You OJ, the original Juggalo. Yes, man, the juice is loose. <laughs> What up, fam? Any more questions? Uh, have not. Have not. Uh, we knew that was, of course, oh, you, would, you would ask that question, <laughs> wouldn't you? The have nots have been working. I know that's what y'all want to hear. Yes. yes, sir. I am under strict confidentiality agreements not to talk about the have nots unless ABK is with me. Let's talk really? about it anyway. I, that, that is real shit. That is real shit. All right. It is, a, it is a strict agreement between Kelly and I that we don't talk about the knots unless we are together. So, what I can tell you about the have knots without Kelly being here is that we are working. Is that good? Sure. I, I'll try to show up to his seminar. Maybe we can get some of that have not talk in. Is that cool? Fucking Scotty D, bro. Can't get away from him. All the Juggalo news right through Mr. TMZ. Scotty D. <laughs> <laughs> right through Mr. TMD, right there. There he goes. What's that? Another question? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, cousin. What up? That's why I saw. I don't even know his name. He's just cousin to me. I don't, I don't know. That's what I call him all the time. Just cousin. Smoke that. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Another question. Alex Scott. Alex Scott. Next question. What up? Seattle gets getting canceled. Seattle does. Let me explain to you. Family, uh, Summer of Fam Tour. We were supposed to start booking um, for earlier in the year. Something uh, something transpired in the office where we thought we were going to be on another tour at the time. So we started booking late for Summer of Fam. The shows that we can get to and do are the ones that we are doing. The other ones is further away, like Seattle. We can't make it all the way out to Seattle without having a route to go out there and come back. You feel me? 
So that's why it keeps getting pushed back. Now what we are doing is setting up another tour for, I believe it's later this year. Um, I, I think, I don't, don't, don't want to get any misquotes because I've learned my lesson about the same shit that don't come true. I ain't doing that shit no more. But fucking, uh, we're supposed to be setting up another tour for later this year. It's gonna be dope, I'm gonna be on it. And we're picking up all the spots that we couldn't get on Summer of Fam. We're gonna hit those, you know what I'm saying? So we coming, for real, we coming. We coming hard, we coming strong. And the tour package is fucking incredible. It's more people than just me and Clay. And that's all I'm gonna say right now. See you more work. Yeah, yeah, you know what it is. But, uh, so are you doing anything with Zug Island? Am I doing anything set, with like Zug Island? Like a collaboration track? Uh, is that in the works at all? No. Or? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. But no, I'm not. I don't. I'm not. I didn't hear it. Yeah, that's my dude. Don't get me wrong. Those are my guys. So I love Zug Island. You know, like, like as period, as people, even before the music. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, I always thought they were dope. And, and if the opportunity ever arises, I for, for sure will do a song. Why not? I love them. I, I, I loved your drug song last night, by the way. Drugs? Sure. All right, all right. So, okay, you were rapping fast as shit. Dude. I was. Do you plan on uh, on your future album doing any of that chopper shit? No. No. What I what I don't plan on doing, I do the I, I do the rap and my melody as the track fits okay. for me. If the track speak, speaks to me to speed up a little bit here and there, I do it. You know what I'm saying? So I the, the music talks to me. Sometimes I talk to the music. Sometimes I come up with shit in my head like hooks and whatnot, and then I make beats to the melody. You know what I mean? But Usually I'll pick a beat out and let it talk to me, tell me what to do, you know what I'm saying? So that's how it goes, you know what I mean? But it was just that, like I said, man, my, <laughs> my cousin is so talented, man. Like, I feel like I need to break dance on his music and shit just to fucking get over, you know what I'm saying? Because he's doing so much, you know what I mean? But yeah, I had to step my game up and, you know, I just, I, I do it when I feel it's necessary to get across it or to flip it up to make it sweet, you know what I'm saying? To make the verse stand out and shit like that, you know what I mean? Some people, that's just their style. I can do anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a juggalo. Oh man, good question. Next question. Uh, what is this, this is about your album, uh, Asylum. It seems to be centered around a character that has schizophrenia, and uh, but there's also speculation that maybe this schizophrenia is a little more than schizophrenia, and he's being oppressed by some sort of demonic spirit or something like that. But the world understands it to be schizophrenia so he can't get the adequate treatment for that in that situation. Uh, my question to you is, do you think that in some of these schizophrenic cases, because obviously there's a whole hell of a lot of them and they can't all be just uh, mental defects, do you believe that, that it's possible that some of those people are experiencing a spiritual warfare within their minds and uh, those that's, that's the, the result and the symptoms are what we see and associate with schizophrenic action and behavior, but do you think that could have a spiritual cause? Absolutely. All right. All right. Let me explain to you for people that, go ahead. Many years, the, the number 17 has been following me around in extremely spiritual, significant ways. Any pinnacle event or, or, or not, they're all interconnected and linked, and I've been putting the pieces together of this 17 puzzle, and it's all led up to the heaven's beam of 17 for me. And this is like a manifestation of things I already knew about before before they started making even such a big deal about the 17. Sure. But um, I was born in 1989. Eight, eight plus nine is 17. 19, ni 1989 divided by 17 equals 117. The quotient of that division is 117. So uh, to me that means there's only one true 17s and a whole lot of false 17s. If you could just say anything to confirm to me that I'm not schizophrenic, brother, I'd appreciate it. Okay, listen, of course you're not schizophrenic because you're able to come up here and articulate uh, eloquently your whole synopsis of the 17 and your whole perception of the asylum, the schizophrenia and all of that. So no, my brother, you are very intelligent and you keep it up. question them, how is anyone else going to ever know anything about it or figure it out? We got to ask questions about everything and anything so we can understand how things work. You feel me? Being overwhelmed by it is what would cause me the, the schizophrenic problems, but will you 
said is uh, confirming and it's going to help me. It's inspiring. Thank you, brother. I'm going to go home with some clarity and uh, not, not suffer from schizophrenia, but focus on what you said. Apply that, what I already knew. But the confirmation in this link is going to help me do that, all right? Be blessed and keep searching for the dollar. That question is never in. This guy right here, huh? Damn! Tell, hey, tell your mom I said thank you. She, she pushed you out of that magic wall, my nigga. That's dope. That guy is deep right there. Look at him, man. He's out. I just want to ask you these questions. Tell you these things. Now I'm gone to think of more incredible things and be better than I have ever been before. That's fucking dope, guy. Forget about it. That's my dude right there. 17! But, uh, yeah, man, we all have the magic inside of us. Every single individual. That's why we are here. That's what brings us together. If you don't know that, if it's cloudy, if it's jaded, if you're not sure of it, let me reassure you that each and every one of you are an intricate, special part to the magic that we feel and that we have every time we come together. Please believe that shit. I know it. You should know it. Share it. That's the best I can tell you. Any other questions? Yeah, real quick. Yeah. Same. All right. Sure. It takes me a long time when someone becomes part of something to really get to know them. Sure. And I'm scared to death that first and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, you're one of the best things that ever happened in this book. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, oh, man, real. Let me tell you some real shit. So are you. So are you. So are you. So is he. So is she. We all are some of the best shit that's ever happened in this shit. You know why? Because we are the ones that are carrying the torches. We are the ones that are representing it the right ways. We are the ones that are coming out and coming together and showing the motherfucking love that makes the magic what it is. I, I have told y'all this many a times and I'll say it until I'm dead gone in the dust. I am y'all. Y'all are me. I was in the same position you guys were in years ago. Watching the motherfuckers on stage like, oh, oh, this shit is fucking dope. Oh, they said, oh, oh shit, he said that shit. Like, I love it. Fuck. Blowing my mind. Just in, enthralled, enthused by everything that was going on. And now look. Look at it. Two albums in. Bunch of videos in. Family come up to me telling me they glad I'm fucking here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's the magic in my fucking life. That's the fucking magic, fam. That's the fucking truth of it all, man. You can be anything you want to be. Just try. All you gotta do, if you fail, guess what? Try again. They, oh, oh shit. He died. Oh, is, this, is this Jeopardy? Is this real fortune? Let me know this. Keep motherfucking trying. Because we're fucking winners. That's why we're here doing what we're doing. We have brought this to this position. Look at all the lights. Look at all the tents. Look at all the fucking showers and all the shit that's going on out here. We are making the Like I do that here. Look at the showers. No, but I didn't, I didn't see the challenge, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I saw that they were here, so that's why. They don't I'm work. They don't, they don't work. work. No, they wow. Have. Everybody's filthy. They said they're not going to fix them. What the fuck? Y'all want to go back to my house and watch y'all ass? Yeah! Come on, I'm sorry, I, I had no idea this how it was working. I will make sure when we leave here, I go find out about that shit later. And I hope yeah. we get that shit taken care of. This is what I'm talking about. This is this is the fucking field. This is the magic. This is why I do it. Y'all are the most motherfucking important people to this shit. Y'all keep us going. Y'all keep us y'all keep us alive and motivated, man. Y'all help me to feed my children, and I love y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart for everything that y'all do for us. Period. Not just me. Us. Everything y'all do for each other. Period. That's, that's the most incredible part of this, and that's why I'm a part of it. To help elevate and lift up this culture so it can be seen by the world for what it is. Great. Yeah, What's your credit card you number? <laughs> 539, never mind. <laughs> so, basically, I, I don't know if anybody's asked this question yet. I don't know if you've spoken on it directly, but... I'm going to just come out and ask, what do you think the chances are of Psychopathic and Magic Ninja working together again? Because I'd like to see you and G Moski put some work in. Well, that, that sounds amazing. Yeah, I feel you. And I mean, I know, I know shit's fucked up right now, but like, I, I don't mean to keep, keep talking. I saw somebody in Virginia Beach get thrown out of uh, the Twisted Valentine's Day show for having a hatchet man on. 
And it was fucking ridiculous. Okay. And I don't see that here. So what I will address is Thank what I don't like. First, what I don't like is anything that puts a divide in our culture Amen. or in our family. Ooh. Ooh. Nothing. It doesn't matter who you listen to or what part of this family you are. Family is family. Only separation is your mama side and your dad side. That's all that's ever been. But they all are still family. You you can't make any you can't differentiate. So now for people saying, oh I'm team this, oh I'm team that, that's bullshit. You're family. Don't scream out who motherfucking team you. If you do a shit like that, you don't know what this shit is even about. Secondly of what I'll say. And this is the only this is the only part of this I will address. You're, I'll answer your question and then I will address what I'm going to say. All right? You said, is there ever any possibility of, what was it? Psychopathic and magic nature, right? Of course there is. Why would there be possibility of what makes the world go Right? Of course there is. I, we, any of us would be a fool to say there's no chance. That's right. That's right. There is no reason for anyone to pick sides. There is no reason for anyone to judge. What it is, is a problem with two or three people. It don't have nothing to do with everybody. Let them people argue and do what they do, and y'all just continue to be yourself. Enjoy that Period. show. We don't have shit to do with shows. It shouldn't have shit to do with shows. It shouldn't have shit to do with you looking at somebody crazy because they listen to somebody. You know what I'm saying? That shit to me is bullshit. I mean, you know, you 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 be who you are, your talent, your opinion, and all of that shit. But I don't give a fuck about that. That's why you haven't heard me say shit about it. I don't put my opinions out. I don't social media bullshit memes on. I don't fuck with right that. I don't do that shit. I continue to be me and represent y'all in a positive, in the most positive light that I can. And I suggest, I hope, and I wish that each and every one of you do the same. You that is my bring up the that. negative subject. No, no worries, man. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Everyone here knows that I run my mouth. I'll answer anything and say whatever. And they keep trying to censor me and I keep fucking up. So that's <laughs> why I am. Hey, who you think about magic and I can't fucking pack it? We didn't even do. So of course I'm going to say something, but I try to make it make sense in the rawest form because what the fuck? If you argue with him, what? Am I going to not like him? I don't like you now, because he's arguing with you. I don't give a fuck about you, or that's between you and this nigga. We go drink beer, we go drink liquor. Nigga, y'all steal my niggas, that's it. I don't give a fuck about y'all niggas arguing. Go in the bushes and fight, or fuck. Whatever y'all gonna do, we get it over with. Let's go get drunk, goddammit. Fuck. So that's, that's me, brother. I'm, I, 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 put, I put this and all of you above that. Brother, I suggest y'all do the same. Bro. Let's ride off into the sunset. You know what I'm saying? And embrace the darkness. Ah, you like these? Whoa, that boy Rufus. But yeah, good question. Any more? Good. Let's. Oh, no, there you go. Ah. I just wanted to say I saw you in Baltimore for the Riddle Box right, show. Man, sure. The shit. Thank yeah. you, fam. Oh, man. Same with Des Moines, man. Des Moines? Yeah, oh man, no doubt. One more, you. Is it hard as an artist and psychopathic to get up on stage without the other artists that aren't here? Does that get hard for you guys? Is it hard to get up without? Uh, is it hard to get on stage without what other artists? Without, without the other artists that aren't here this year. Uh, like no. the rest of the family. No, it's not hard for me to get on stage and rock with my family. It don't matter who was here. Woo -hoo -hoo. If it was just y'all and me, I'd be up there for four days, like fucking, <laughs> 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 fucking. Play that shit. One more time. You feel me? So, no, it ain't hard for me to do shit. I love y'all. I'd do this shit every day at the gathering if I could, goddammit. Whoa, whoa. I've got a question. Sure, sure. Yo. You play Maine sometimes. Play which one? Maine. Maine. What is that? The state. The state. <laughs> I drive to Maine every Maine? Year. I said, what is that? I drive the state. <laughs> Who do the headline? Sure. Like the Tell someone out in Maine to book. I'll come right out there and rock y'all motherfuckers out. The station in Portland. Yeah. We've been to fucking Portland. Yeah, we came up to Portland. 
For sure he went to Portland. Portland, Maine or Portland, Oregon? <laughs> Maine? Portland, Maine? Yeah. No, not Portland, Maine. Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Fuck you up there. See, see, see? No, but yeah. One time. I love to come to Maine. I don't have no problem coming to Maine, fam. Bring some psychopathic back to Maine, man. We miss y'all. We sell you over every time, but... I will. How's that sound to you? Oh, yeah. That's my man. Time. Get the promoters to hit us up. Y'all hey, motherfuckers be like, we don't want to come to y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And anything we don't want to come, we have to get booked in that city. It's booking. You know what I'm saying? So that's why sometimes shows don't happen. Or, you know, I see a lot of shit we going on for tours. Like, oh, why don't y'all come here? Why don't y'all do? Y'all never come here. You know, it's like, y'all promoters don't want to provide a, a, a fucking venue, man. You know what I'm saying? To pay pay a couple dollars for a venue to bring us out there. So you gotta get on those promoters to get to the venues and then fucking book us. We come wherever, family. I come tear down your backyard. They can pay me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's get it. It ain't no problem. I have the pleasure of shaking your hand. Yes. Hey, how you doing? Get on those promoters' asses, though, bro. That's who. That's who brings us out. You know what I'm saying? And, and we, we don't just come to places and just show up and hope that it goes okay. Promoters get the get the uh, they book the show and take care of the venue. They put up promotion. And they do all of that shit so y'all know we coming and we get out. That's how we do it, you feel me? No doubt. Next, is there any more? What? There you go. What's your favorite ICP song? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. How many, like, uh, <laughs> God damn, what's yours? What's mine? I like it. Exactly. What the fuck? This guy comes up and says, what's your favorite ICP song? It's a trick question. Then I say, what's yours? He said, I don't have one. <laughs> of course. How you fuck go through that catalog, brother? Just pick out one. But you know, you know what it is, family. They're my big brothers, man. I love everything they do. It's kind of like bias for me to say. You know what I'm saying? What up? Uh, I just had a request. Sure. Man, my kids love you. I was wondering if you could put a shout out to Katie Dalton and Trinity. If I put a shout out to who? Katie Dalton and Trinity. Where your camera phone at? You got it on you? Uh, I got a tablet over here. Sure. Record it. You don't want to give a shout out to them. Nothing, man. Get the Are they here? Record that shit, family. What's their names? Katie, Katie Dalton, and Trinity. Dalton and Trinity. All right, I want y'all to help me with this. All right, Katie, Dalton, and Trinity. Katie, Dalton, and Trinity. Katie, Dalton, and Trinity. Katie, Dalton, and Trinity. What? Katie, Dalton, and Trinity. What? Katie, Dalton, and Trinity. What? We love you. Boo -boo. That was the shit. You know that's gonna rock his kid's brain. I'm going to school with him. Oh man, blessings to you, family. Look at him. I love to see that. You fucking, that's why I do it, family. That is why the fuck I do it. Period. If they ain't doing that, fuck them. Yeah, I swear to God, man. They don't even understand. That's what this shit is about. You feel me? We touch each other. We help each other. We are each other. I can't say it enough. <laughs> anyway, was that it? Oh, right there in. you go. Hey, bro. I noticed last night and today you all, you got four dots on your on your left side and one on your right. What's up with that? Why is it the same? Well, <laughs> <laughs> interesting question, my man. When I created the paint, uh, and I was looking up different shaman paints there is something that was consistent in all of the paint that they ever used some of them had lines some of them had uh charcoal fucking different shit but one thing all of them had were the dots they had the dots so the the, the dots are a representation of uh different things life spirituality love you know what i'm saying family and uh, perseverance. So it, it depends on how many dots you have, how long you've been practicing, how much you know, and how deep you are into what you do. Okay. So that is the secret behind the dots. All right. And the further I get, the more that I get, the more intricate they are in different places and shit like that. And for older, for older shaman, where they had them was super special. Like you see a motherfucker with dots all under his eyes, yeah. better go the other way. <laughs> you see a motherfucker with like, you know, I think they had a, what was it like, a little bit lower across the cheek or whatever. They were supposed to be like good medicine men and different shit like that, man. It was so much shit that I had to study to put together all of this, you know what I'm saying? And, and to really to really bring it to you and not just a, 
kind of a musical way, I don't want to say that, and not just a a way that I'm making shit up and trying to put it out here and hoping, like that, it, hoping that it wins. No, yeah. it ain't that, this shit is real. So, you know, thanks, good question. Uh, one more. I just wanted to say thank you for keeping all the spiritual shit going with you. That's what, like, my favorite part of the whole Dark Carnival, I feel like yes. you do that more than most of the people who've been repping it. Not like a diss to them at all, just that you focus on it. That's right. And I love that about you. That's so right. just keep rocking with that. Thank you, absolutely. Because all of this is spiritual. All of this coming together. Do you know when they come together like this on their own to do it like purposely? You know what this kind of shit is? It's church. Did y'all know that? People come together at family reunion events. This is what, since the beginning of time, a coming together like this was the whole village and tribe. It was a family reunion. Everyone got together, everyone gets to know who they are, who the kids are, were born, like they don't know all of that shit. And the only other place that was gathered at, at this in, a, in a big capacity all throughout history in every culture was church. No matter what God they were going to pray to, that's how people came together. So that's where spirit, spirituality and togetherness come from. This is, we're, we're, we're doing things that have been happening since the beginning of time. We're carrying on written spiritual rituals. That's what this shit is. We come, we come together and we praise and we sing songs. And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's fucking woo, woo, woo. Like, you just be here having fun. I understand that, but I'm deep, brother. I, I look at everything from a different kind of eye. Probably my third one. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe my third one. You never know. But, <laughs> but, but Yes, man. That, that's who I am. I'm, I'm blessed, brother, and I, I just want to pass. I just want to pass the hoodoo blessing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. So now, a couple autographs, some pictures, smoke a little bit more weed, and y'all enjoy y'all motherfucking gathering, man. Y'all look for my, y'all look for my cousin. Y'all see him? Show him some love, man. Get, get some pictures with him. You know what I'm saying? Talk to him. He got a crazy accent. He from a foreign land and shit. You know what I'm saying? Tristan, both of these dudes are virgins. When y'all see him. Give them the gathering, I'm telling y'all, for me, alright? I love y'all. Y'all are the most incredible family, motherfucking friends that I could ever wish for in life, man. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for who y'all are and what y'all do. You feel me? Woo woo.